In today's news, Paulo Costa challenges surfing legend Kelly Slater. Paul Costa recently shared a video of himself attempting to surf. After a brief lesson, he boldly challenged Kelly Slater, a renowned American professional who holds the record for being crowned World Surf League champion 11 times. I don't know, this should be harder or easier, I don't know, but at least it's something you don't get pushed in the face. Kelly, I'm not so good like you, not even close, but I challenge you to the something. So hard, so hard to stay. I stand up on that thing. Kelly, you are the man. To do that, I will be honest. It's easier to fight than stand up on that. Congrats. Dana White reveals that the exit on the Howie Mandel podcast was staged. Three months ago, Dana walked out on Howie Mandel's podcast just seconds into the show. Now, during a recent episode of the Flagrant Podcast, Dana admitted that the shocking Howie Mandel podcast was actually planned. He said, Howie Mandel owns a lot of shit that people don't realize. Smart guy, great guy. So we're walking through and stuff and he goes, will you do me a favor? I said, yeah, what's up? He's like, would you come in and get up and walk off my podcast? I go, I would be honored to walk off your podcast because I'm so sick of doing podcasts. It's not funny. We go in there and do it, right? He's like, take this to the grave. I said, done, I'll take it to the grave. White ended up revealing the truth anyway, and he explained why he couldn't keep it a secret. I go do this thing with the Nelk boys. We're doing this monkey bomb fucking tour. The whole fucking crowd starts chanting, fuck Howie Mandel. I go, whoa, 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 time out. I can't do this. Howie Mandel's the fucking greatest dude ever. Sorry, Howie. It just when I go out and people just start fucking shitting on the guy, Alex Pereira dazzles a magician with his own magic trick. In a recent clip on his YouTube channel, Alex met a magician who showed him some card tricks. Then, Alex offered to showcase some of his own magic tricks. Check this. This time, look at it really closely, all right? Do not take your eyes off it. Do not take your eyes off it. Looking at it, right? Looking at it, look. Push your car, push it in. We pull, we pull, we pull. No, you missed it. Look up, look up. No, 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 no. What about him? What about him? That was good. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, we're going to play the game. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. No, 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 look. Okay. Assim, ó, fica assim. Baixa a mão, baixa a mão. Put the hands down. Assim, aqui, aqui. Assim. Aqui, aqui. Eu vou, eu vou fazer ele cair só com essa mão esquerda. He gonna make you fall just with the left hand. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, mágica, pô. That's some magic shit, too, bro. I'm not a boxer, just a magician. I'm not a MMA fan, I'm just a magician. Eu sou, eu sou mágico, só. Thank you, thank you, mocks Leon Edwards. During a talk with Tom Aspinall, Leon Edwards revealed that he hired a sleep cycle specialist to help him prepare for UFC 304. My dad spoke with Tim and he said Leon's getting like a specialist in. He said, Well, you see Leon asking yeah, himself, I've been way. waiting to yeah, ask yeah. you because <laughs> I had some mad theory about what I'm going to do yeah. and it's completely different to yeah. yours. And now, yeah. now I'm just basically going to copy Leon's version. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I was like, Oh, I want to like, sleep in the day and be awake at night. Yeah, yeah. But then when I spoke to the guy, he's like, oh, You can't do that because you need your body needs sunlight, you need, day, you need yeah, day, yeah, yeah. daylight. So he's basically saying that you need to somehow adjust it, that you don't have to train at five in the morning. Yeah. You need to get your body to about, used to 
till about one, two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. After that, you should be fine. Because when I'm fine at eleven o'clock, I don't turn at eleven o'clock. I'm not done by six, six yeah, p.m. Me too. in my house. Too. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah. So um, it's just so moving the clock a little bit, hour by hour, six weeks out, bit by bit. Get to about two o'clock, and that's that's so that's that's where you want it. And you still be able to get sunlight. And you still be able to, to train. You know, so it'd, it'd be good. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna copy your. Yeah, you, did you pay for that, by the way? I did pay for that. Oh, I've got a cheap <laughs> <Where can I, laughs> one. The secret is <laughs> okay, everyone else is gonna start copying it now. Yeah, well, you can have it for free, mate. To be fair, I got another meeting with a guy. After seeing this, Bilal Muhammad mocked Leon, tweeting, My right hand will put him to sleep for free, July 27th. Referee Jason Herzog speaks out on the backlash following this weekend's controversial stoppage. UFC ref Jason Herzog received a ton of criticism from the MMA community. After the Nasruddin Imavar vs. Jared Cannonier controversial stoppage, Jason has now taken tags responding to those who have heavily criticized him. He tweeted, I get it, I know what I was seeing in the moment, but I've gotten enough feedback telling me I need to reevaluate, so I will. Sean O'Malley plays down the bad blood with Conor McGregor. Recently, Conor and Sean went back and forth on Twitter. It was strange because they seemed to be on good terms before. Now, in an interview with MMA Fighting, Sean provided an update on his current relationship with the Notorious. Where are you at with Conor right now? Yeah, no, I, I, I jokingly on my podcast that uh, we talked, we're good now. I, I haven't talked to him since. Um, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll forever be a massive Conor fan, like the biggest fan. He watched his career played out, watched every single interview possible. Like, you know, I, I've learned a ton from him. He's a legend. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Nothing, you know, it's, it is what it is. It is what it is. He, he said, I think he realized what he said was just stupid. And uh, I don't know why he tried putting me and Ryan Garcia in the same category. He's saying Ryan Garcia missed weight and it made him mad about me. I'm like, that just doesn't make sense. So I think he kind of realized what he said was stupid and then just backed himself into a corner. He also said, let's take the gloves off and fight. <laughs> pretty sure so it is, i mean it is what it is i wouldn't turn down a connor fight yeah uh, what about what about the chandler fight are you still are you still uh predicted chandler to go for the knockouts and you're pretty emphatic about that yeah it's we'll see we'll see i like again it's hard for me not to you know if connor goes out there and knocks him out it would, it would be wild it would just build another big connor fight and, you know the more connor fights the better time for today's top memes Third place was found over on Facebook and was posted by Robert. Second place meme was found over on X and was posted by Mr. Testosterogen. Who is that guy? Who the f is that? Dana! 50 G's, baby! Da 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 da! It's the motherfucking deal, double G. You rock! You rock! Where's Noah? Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.